video vlog. Yay! Okay, so before I start, let me introduce my name. I am Sonia, and I'm proud to be a Filipina and currently working here in Jakarta, Indonesia, in one of the international schools. Since the beginning of this pandemic, I I've just realized how important for teachers and all educators to be technologically oriented. Thanks to technology that despite of this pandemic, we can be able to still do uh, teaching online and our students still can learn away from school. So for today, I will be sharing how to use Google Classroom. Let's start. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to your email. Look, I'm already in my email and then look at the upper part of your screen you can see these icons okay google apps you open it click it you can see you can do the searching youtube play store news gmail and if you scroll down you will have your google classroom you can click that okay it's still loading there you go it says there no classes here because it's just new so how do we make classroom how do we make okay so we need to click this plus sign click if you are a student you join class if you are a, a teacher an educator click create class Okay, you just click this one, say approve, and then continue. After that, you can write your class. Maybe you are a subject. If you are teaching English, maybe you say grade one English. Maybe the class is rows, okay? Section rows. English. No need for that because you have it. Maybe your section is B. Mm. And then create. It's automatically create the classroom. Okay. So in here, you will you have your you have your class code. Don't forget to send this one. If you are a teacher, send this code to your students. They will to, to your students email they will receive this one and automatically they will join because there's an o join option they can click that and automatically they can join they need to put this code and then they can join okay in here for your classroom you can also select your team what 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 color is it you want to make it colorful or maybe uh, okay for me i may use this maybe this one and then select class team oh see it change or you can also upload your own picture maybe a picture of your students and you okay so we see in this class in each class you will have these four features the stream the classwork people and grades okay let's start with the stream for the stream we are already here this is where you post videos or anything that you want your students to see for example you want to post uh, a video explaining how do they do the module it's also okay you can share in here so assuming your students are here already okay so share with your class which one you want to share it's here you need to go here and then you can find it it's up to you maybe if you put in the google drive you can click here or in the computer so you can click file if you are done with your video explaining your what your students do about the module then you can just upload it says there upload okay so may, let's say for example i'm done with this this is just an example so let's insert okay now it's inserting okay 
after you insert, you need to explain. Say, hi kids, here is the, oh sorry. Hi kids, here is the video explaining explaining how to do the module okay okay so after that you can post if you are doing the e-learning meaning to say you are not using module e-learning you post here the recorded video of the lesson and then you can explain here what are the things that they need to prepare before they watch the lesson that's for the e-learning but if it's only for module this one is already uh, explaining on how do they do the module okay and then you post don't forget to post there you go so if your students already joined your class they will automatically can open this one you can also edit if you got wrong in typing you can edit you can delete and change again or you can copy the link so that's it it's just this is very helpful for you especially those who are having the e-learning the online learning together with your kids because you have here classwork you can put your uh, homework here and then the kids will do it and then they will return later I will explain to you further but for this time I'll just explain to you the stream feature this is this stream feature is helpful if you are just using module you are sending modules to your students and they don't know what to do so in here you can take video of yourself and explain what are they going to do with the module that's it so the students will not be stressed at home all right so that is how to use google classroom for those who are using e-learning you are already expert with this one but this is very helpful for those who are uh, using modules. It's easier for you to use this because your modules, uh, your, your recorded videos are exclusively for your students, not for all people. Alright, so that's all for my first ever vlog. I hope you like it and I hope that you have learned something, especially those who are uh, struggling maybe this one can help you with your modules for all the teachers out there this one is very helpful why because the file that you are sending to your students is exclusively for your students nobody can watch it except for your students unless they don't know how to use their emails then you can upgrade them also in using emails because we are now in digital age and so we also encourage our students to be technologically competent. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you!